and God is on. Welcome to Dominion Morning Launch. Here's the sound of praise. God's people know the joyful sound. Welcome to Dominion Morning Launch. This is your God on pastor, J.D. Brown. Welcome to the front moving in up here in New Virginia, Iowa. But uh, we're believing God for a great day. We're going to launch this day in the favor of the Lord. Get your uh, unleavened bread, saltine cracker, rich cracker, whatever you have. Get your grape juice ready. We're going to receive a communion. Communion activates the power of the covenant. So it's important to do that every day. Give us this day our daily bread. The Bible says that daily they were breaking bread from house to house in the New Testament, the book of Acts. That doesn't mean they were having pizza parties all over town. That means that they were receiving communion, sharing the word with one another. That's what we're doing right now. We're going to start this day right with the right priorities and principles. Father, thank you for the broken bread. Jesus broke the bread and he blessed it. And he said, blessed be Jehovah God, the Lord God that brings forth bread from the earth. Father, thank you that you brought forth Jesus from the earth. And through his death, we receive of his death so that we might walk in his life. We thank you for the power of the Logos, the written word that it's broken in two parts, the older and the newer testament. And we receive the royal promises of the seed of Abraham from both now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. And Jesus said, eat all of it in remembrance of me, and let's partake of the bread. In the same manner, he took the cup, and he blessed it. Blessed be the Lord God that brings forth the fruit of the vine from the earth. Father, thank you for this cup. We thank you for the blood. The blood designates that we are the heirs of God. The blood speaks better things for us. The blood washes away our sins. The blood extinguishes the fires of hell and repels all of the curses and the demonic forces of darkness. And we pray that the people will be covered by the blood, walk in the blood, paint our minds with Calvary's blood. We receive the life that's in the blood according to Leviticus 17. We receive eternal life, everlasting life, abundant life, resurrection life, and God kind of life today. And Jesus' death is not in vain for us today, but we activate it and remember Calvary. Thank you, Lord, for the sake of Calvary. Bless this day to return hundredfold harvest through the power of the blood. In Jesus' name, let's drink all of it in remembrance of him. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Amen. Here's a psalm. Everybody, let's start in the word. The heavens declare the glory of God. The firmament shows his handiwork. Day unto day utters speech, and night unto night shows knowledge. There is no speech or language where their voice is not heard. Their line has gone out through all the earth, their words to the end of the world. In them he has said the tabernacle for the sun, which is a bright which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoices as a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from the end of the heaven and circuit unto the ends of it, and there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever, and the judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. And more to be desired are they than gold, yes, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is your servant warned, and in keeping of them there is great reward. Who can understand his errors and cleanse me from secret faults? Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright, and I shall be innocent from great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. The refreshing's coming in today. Here's a rhema word of exhortation from the Lord today. Make liberty your number one priority where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty stay where the spirit of the lord is hear his voice more than any voice today hear and obey today praise god and 
30, 60, and 100 fold will manifest Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Body, Soul, and Spirit. And God is on with Dominion Morning Launch. Father, in Jesus' name, anoint the people to receive this word. We thank you for it now. We agree for 100 fold production today. In Jesus' name, amen.